Good day everyone, I am Carlo A. Pinoche, a senior high school teacher applicant from Mabini District and I am going to present my teaching demonstration on statistics and probability on the topic the normal distribution. And here is my lesson plan which focuses on the competency converts a normal random variable to a standard normal variable and vice versa. For the methodology, we will start the class with a diet activity as the motivation or introductory activity. Processing questions for the analysis and for the abstract, we will have an interactive discussion. And I will let them solve for each problem using standard scores or the Z scores for the application and for the assessment. I will test their understanding by giving them a two real life problem. And to enhance the day's lesson, I will also give them an authentic assignment. So good morning class. Kindly stand for the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray to God our personal intentions. Uniting our prayers into one glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class! Before you take your seats, kindly strengthen your rows and columns, as well as pick up the pieces of trashes under your chairs, and kindly make sure that you put them in the proper trash bins. You may now settle down. Good morning once again, class. My good morning. So may I ask your monitor, Samantha, to kindly check the attendance. Is somebody upset? All right, very good. Everyone is here, class. So let's give ourselves a round of applause because everybody is present. I assume that you are really ready for today's lesson. Before we start, let us have first a look back on what we have done yesterday. So may I ask uh, Jane to recapitulate what we did yesterday? Very good! What club for Jane? Yesterday class, we have discussed area under a normal curve using the standard normal distribution table and our Z-scores. So for today, we will have an connected and interrelated topic with what we have did yesterday. So are you ready? One clap if you're ready. Good. Now, we will start a class with an activity. Specifically, a diet activity, which I know for sure you really like. Finding a pair. So you'll find a pair and solve this diet activity. So we'll give it five minutes to solve this one. Am I clear? Is the instructions clear? Good, you may now start. Time is up, class. Now, before we will proceed, let us try to answer these questions. I will let somebody to answer this orally, okay? So first question, are the scores normally distributed? Yes, Angel. Correct, Angel. The scores are normally distributed. But how about this question? Can we convert this course to a normal curve? The scores, what I mean, are the scores given on the previous activity that we had. Yes, anybody? Jonathan! Very good, Jonathan! We can convert the scores to a normal curve. But the question is how? How are we going to convert this course to a normal curve because yesterday we have also this we have just discussed the z scores that is 0 to 4 or 0 0.3 but this time we will have a standard or row score that is what we call the z score or the standard score but before that let us take a look of these learning objectives and hopefully we could uh, inculcate and learn these learning objectives objectives at the end of our lesson. So these are identify switches under the normal curve corresponding to standard normal values, construct a normal curve that corresponds to a standard normal distribution, display competence in finding the accurate z-score and vice versa, and lastly acknowledge accuracy upon reflecting the standard normal values to the standard distribution table. So I hope you will keep in touch with this 
uh, objectives and hopefully we could gain this one together with your cooperation. So are you ready? Let's start by defining what is a Z-score or a standard score. And uh, before we proceed the class, let us try to see what we have done yesterday. This is an example of what we did yesterday, a review area under a normal curve. So let's, uh, let's try to find the area between 0 and 0 0.78. So we need the normal distribution table, which I know for sure you had already had hand out, I have given to you. So this is our normal distribution table. And let us try to find out the 0 0.78. So 0 0.7 and 0 0.08 is there. So that is 0 0.28 or 28.23% of our normal curve. So going back to our activity, what is the standard score for 68? Knowing that, zero raman to karun, dan ko nga row score. So let us define what is a standard score. This is the measure of how many standard deviation a given value of x, this x is the row score, under, above, or below the mean. The z-scores are very useful in comparing observed values. And if you have a positive z-score, that means that your score, observed value, is above the mean. However, if it is negative, that is below the mean. So, we can find the z-score by having this z equals x minus mu over the standard deviation. This is our formula for finding the z-score, where the z is the standard score, x is the row or the observed value, katong 68, for example, and mu is the mean, and this one is our standard deviation. So let us try to have this problem a while ago about the standard score of 68. 68 lang taong na ha. Okay? So... We have the mean 73 and 13.56. So the solution here. So our x is 68 and our mu is 73 or our mean over 13.56 which is our standard deviation. We have a standard score of 0.4. So more than the illustration, the RS is 0, the RS is 0.4 which means a negative number below the mean. I, I, am I understood class? Do you have questions? None? Good. So let us try to see if you really understood what we have done today. Okay? Let us have a practice. You will solve the remaining scores of the 10 students, but still with your pair. So I will give you 10 minutes for that, and your 10 minutes starts now. Time is up. Let us proceed by doing another work by your own. So ikaw na. So you will solve this, and I will give you another 10 minutes to do this. So do you have questions? Now, so you proceed, 10 minutes starts now, and time is up. Lastly, for your assignment for today class, we will check that one before we start our class. Am I understood class or do you have any questions for today? Good, so let us have a wrapping up of this activities class. So standard scores are very useful and essential, especially kung mo take na mo o quantitative research because this values class, this standards score are very useful. Muli ang gamito nato sa pag-decide kung ato bang i-accept or reject ang ato ang null, hypoth null hypothesis. So, mastering standards course is very essential and you need to practice this one so that dili na mo mabaguhan ining mo abot na ang inyong research na subject. So that, I think, let's call it a day. That would be all for today's lesson. I hope you have learned something. Let us all stand for the prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye and may God bless you, class. Thank you.